Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of rounding decimals. This is standard 5.2c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 1 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have this number right here, 129, 257, or we can call that 129 and 257 thousandths. We need that rounded to the nearest hundredth. So that's literally all we're doing is rounding this to the nearest hundredth. And so let's make sure we understand our place value first. So we get three digits to the left of the decimal, three to the right. So let's put this in here, 1, 2, 9, 2, 5, 7. Always start at your decimal point, that's your anchor, so you know where things go. To the left, you start building with the 1s, 10s, 100s, and it goes on and on and on, 1000s, 10,000s, so forth. Now. To the left of the decimal are the whole numbers. To the right of the decimal are your decimals. So these are values that are smaller than one whole. It starts with tenths. That's THS, like tens, with a THS. Hundredths, like hundreds, with a THS. Thousands. So you see a, a mirroring effect here except for once. There's no such thing as once. So we need to round it here to this place value right here, to the hundredths place. They always have to give you a place to round to. Now, how can we visualize rounding? There is a shortcut. Now, we'll show you the shortcut, but I want to help you visualize it. So what we need to look at are two boundary numbers, and this is how we learned to do rounding in third grade. So what we're looking at here is we are looking at 129.25 and 129.26. And our number falls somewhere in between here. And the question is, is it closer to 129.25 or 0.26? Because you notice I'm going to the hundredths place. That's the place we're going to. So we need a midpoint here. And it's kind of hard to see a midpoint between 25 and 26. So what we could do is we can go ahead and just add an extra zero to make it look like 250 and 260. And now we can more easily visualize that our midpoint is going to be 129.255 or 255 thousandths. So anything that happens to be at this midpoint or above is going to round up. 129.26. Anything that's below the midpoint is going to round down to 129 and 25 hundredths. So once we see this, it's pretty simple to see where our 257 lies. Our 257 is going to lie right around here, 129 and 257 thousandths, which means it's going to be part of the group that's going to round up to 129.26. Now that's the long way of doing it, that's the visualization part of it. How to do that without any type of visualization? Well, what we do is this. Here's the shortcut. 129, and it's 0 0.257, 257. Well, you look at the place that it's rounding to, so hundredth, so you underline it. And then you always look directly to the right. Circle that digit. 7. And there's two rules here. If it's 5 or more, 5 or more, you go up. If it's 4 or less, you go down. Now, which digit goes up or down is going to be this digit that we underline right here. So this 57 is going to round up to a 6. We're going to add that one right there. And so we're going to get 129. 0.26, and it's a 260, but we can go ahead and drop that zero, so it's 26. The answer here is D.